It appears that due to its strange policies, China is starting to feel a lot of pressure on multiple fronts. Chinese companies were still busy calculating their loss after the previous ban of their apps in India, and now even the thought of another ban is enough to make the dragon very nervous. Soon after, many news outlets in India reported that India has banned another 47 apps and how the country is now examining 275 Chinese apps, which even include apps linked to Alibaba, the Chinese state-run media quoted some analysts stating that if India bans these Chinese apps, Chinese investors' confidence in India will be battered and hopes of an improvement in bilateral economic relations will dim. Regarding the possible ban of 275 Chinese apps, the Global Times also quoted a spokesperson for Xiaomi who said that it's not an official policy issued by the government, just speculations and inside news. Strangely, the Chinese media has also been showing a lot of concern regarding the Indian influencers who it believes are hurt by ban of China's TikTok and other Chinese apps. Has China realized that many Indian apps have already emerged as alternatives for various Chinese apps that were banned and are recording millions of downloads? Instead of being nervous about a ban, China, Chinese businessmen and Chinese creators should look at this as an opportunity. Chinese netizens who want to express their creativity and talent can also dance on Indian apps, become influencers and even earn a good living. Chinese traders and businessmen can download Indian apps to connect with their counterparts in India and eventually these Indian apps can also open their branches in China, providing employment to Chinese youth who are looking for jobs. After all, what's wrong with that? And why is China complaining anyway? It is common for countries around the world to ban certain apps citing different reasons. China itself has banned many American apps and China's all-weather friend, Pakistan, has recently banned PUBG. Instead of wasting time complaining about a ban, Chinese media should encourage the Chinese netizens and creators to join Indian apps and express their talent as soon as possible, otherwise they might just miss the bus. It appears that the Indian apps have global ambitions and if India plans things well, it might be possible that some Indian apps will finally compete against their Chinese and American counterparts in the near future. India's global ambitions are not only limited to apps, various media reports also indicate how the new Geo Google smartphone is set to pose a major challenge to Chinese phone makers such as Xiaomi and BBK Electronics, owner of the Realme, Oppo and Vivo brands, which currently dominate a $2 billion market for sub-$100 smartphones in India. Anybody with a proper business sense should understand that competition can help in bringing the best out of you, and this competition from India on the global arena might also help the Chinese companies to become the best version of themselves. So, in this context, China and Chinese companies should be very thankful to India. See you again.